right guys, today I'm going to show you how to spatchcock a chicken. We've got our chicken here. I gave it a little rinse because it was in juices. We're gonna find the spine, which is right here. Then we're gonna cut using our kitchen shears along both sides of the spine. I kind of didn't go over her now because here is part of the back one. Throw that away. And I'm coming from the other side. a knife for the rest because I am struggling with those shears. This just seems easier, you know? There we go. All right, there's the spine. We're going to cut that out. We're gonna find the breast bone, which is right here. Nick it a little. You can see it'll come right open. So then it will lay. Oh, it'll lay flat. Look at that beautiful spatchcock chicken. You might have to struggle a bit at the beginning because I know I sure did. But um, just do it a few times and it'll be worth it. I'm sure. Let's get this Sunday dinner started. We're gonna have spatchcock roasted chicken. I am going to melt one stick of butter in the microwave. We're gonna start by brushing melted butter all over the skin. We're gonna get under there too, brush it underneath. I'm gonna bake this back with it too. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 400. This chicken is probably gonna take about an hour and a half to cook. Okay, so I'm gonna get under the skin this way. Carefully, I'm gonna separate. All right, then we're gonna season it. We're gonna give it a good salt and pepper sprinkling. We're gonna give it a good sprinkling of this garlic powder right here. And then finally, we're gonna use the Smokehouse Maple McCormick's Grill Mate all over it, be generous. Okay, 
We're gonna go in and put a little bit more butter on everywhere. Cause I just wanna use the rest of this butter up. Looks good. Now it's going to go in the oven. I'll check on it after one hour. The chicken has been in for an hour and this is what it looks like. I'm going to measure the internal temperature right now. Let's see what we got in the breast. What's it supposed to be, Ricky? Okay, it is that. Okay, it looks like the chicken is done faster. I guess that happens when you spatchcock it. I'm just gonna put it in the oven on warm while I make the sides. Go ahead and cut up our chicken now. And then we'll let it rest until we're ready to eat. Look at that, look how easy that cut. on the chicken right there. It's one piece. And we'll do this breast the other, like just how we did the other one. Ouch. Let me see if I can get some of the sauce also out of the bottom. This can stay as one piece. This can stay as one piece. There. It is as simple as that. And what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to pour the juices over the top. And I'm going to cover it with foil until we're ready for it. We want to keep that breast moist. We don't want anything to dry out. So we'll just go ahead and pour all the juices out on it. Doesn't that look good? Now we'll just kind of turn it with foil. And it will stay warm until we're ready for it. I don't want to keep it in the oven because I don't want it to dry out. 